Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Masters with me. So this time around, we're gonna dive into the game to take a look at the brand new scout for Hilbert, or his Japanese name is Toya. Or if you guys are more familiar with the character's name in Japanese. Alright, so um, whenever a brand new scout appears, usually another brand new event also occurs with it. Uh, that's um, from the concept that Dana is providing for Pokemon Masters at this point of time. Um, but sadly to say, due to Dana's uh, works with Pokemon Company, uh, it's not so easy to get gems to do scouts uh, <laughs> for this game. As you can tell, I'm not even close to getting um, 3000 gems, you know. Uh, as from the last video I did for uh, Lyra um, Yeah, I don't really have enough gems to do a full 10 scout uh, Unlike the other mobile game that I'm playing on my YouTube channel which is Utah Macross Which is also produced by Dana And sadly to say, well Pokemon Masters isn't as generous as Utah Macross uh, probably mainly because of Pokemon Company, unlike Utama Cross, um, which is run by Kawamori and the Macross franchise. So, <laughs> yeah, well, so we're gonna take a look at um, Hilbert's stats with Oshawott and to see whether what kind of a trainer is he. Is he an offensive trainer? Is he a support trainer or a tactical trainer? That's all. Uh, dive into the stats, the move sets, the skills, and all that um, for, for Hilbert's scout, or rather his um, character and his Pokemon's abilities. So let, let's take a look at the stats here first. Um, generally, well, Oshawott uses more of the physical attack stat, so as you can see, it's 197. And of course, his defense is pretty well balanced with normal defense and SP defense. So yeah, um, so I guess Oshawott is a pretty good pair up with uh, Luna Stone. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with the trainers that are available within um, the scouts or other trainers, you can probably get from scouting. All right, so let's take a look. I have a team. There is more towards a physical attack. Let's see where did I put. Uh, nope, not this one. Oh, I guess it was under the. Never mind. So let's disband. Maybe I should disband this because the rock type event is over. So let's disband this. All right. So I'm going to show you um, a team that is focused more on, um, I would say, physical attack. So the normal attack stat. There we go. So yeah, we have this trainer here, Liza. Um, her Luna Tone is a support character that is more towards support for both uh, Pokemons that are using the normal attack stat and the SP attack stat because of this skill of one mind. So sharply raises the attack and special attack of all I like sing pairs. If you guys don't have her. I would highly recommend you getting her or try to get her. Uh, she is going to be a universal trainer for most of your team setups. Alright, and of course, her, she has this XSP defense all, which is pretty good against uh, opponents that uses the special attack stat. Um, and of course, if you want to have your Pokemon or your team's Pokemon uh, survive, to survive longer, you know, this trainer is definitely a, uh, a trainer you want to keep a note of and of course to have her maxed out if possible. Sadly to say Luna Tone doesn't evolve so, but that's fine. You know generally she's a tank and of course with skills and supports uh, you know that Luna Tone learns that's pretty fantastic. Not, not forgetting the passive skill power up moves when unity bonus is in effect. So this is a fantastic a passive skill. Uh, so make sure you always work together with your team to have that unity bonus uh, activated. You know, like all all three Pokemon on your side have to attack to have that unity bonus activated, so you can charge up your unity attack uh, for that awesome finishing move. Then of course there's this 
Dauntless special attack cannot be lowered and of course you have Stalwart special defense cannot be lowered so super super useful uh, support character um, definitely one to take note of so yeah I'm gonna have her equip then normally this is my setup um, for I would say an offensive team so Lycanroc uses the normal attack as well uh, of course you can actually have another offensive uh, that you know uses the special attack so I probably could use but both look at uh, Lycanroc and um, uh, Houndoom uses the normal attack so I guess I could probably use another Pokemon yeah, I guess Berry's Pimplup because Pimplup uses the special attack stat. Uh, yeah, so this is a pretty good setup for both physical and special attack. So yeah. Okay, so back to the scout. Let's take a look at uh, Hilbert's uh, Oshawa and see what other things that is useful. The Aqua Tail. Wow, so Aqua Tail. Oops. Aqua Tail comes with a 2 energy cost. Uh, it uses the physical attack stat, um, like what Oshawa is built for. And power of 67, accuracy of 90, so there is still a chance to miss. It's not 100% activation. How about Waterfall? Uh, Waterfall also uses 2 energy. Um, has a small chance of making the target flinch, so that's pretty useful. But overall, I think Oshawa isn't that fantastic as an offensive Pokemon because both attacks uses two energies so that's kind of a bummer the lower the, the lower the user's HP is the more this move raises the attack of the allied sync pairs wow so Osha what is attack support ah so he's not really an offensive Pokemon Sharply raises the speed of all. Wow! So Hilbert and Lyra are both support characters. Okay, so personally, I prefer Lyra's uh, skill setup more because Sunny setup is really awesome. Raises attack, special attack, and speed of all and like all in one skill. Unlike Hilbert, Hilbert's is two separate skills on Oshawa so it's X speed all and in this together um, overall I think if you're planning to scout Lyra is the way to go not Hilbert so that's kind of a sad thing so let's see Lyra is available from Hilbert scout but if you have been pulling from uh, Lyra scout I will recommend you to continue to do so uh, especially if you're planning to claim the current scout points from that um, scout itself because uh, you might want to pay a close attention to the expiration date of the scout uh, it expires on the 30th which is six days away from the time I'm recording this video so yeah so if you have the money um, you might want to consider tossing it into Lyra's instead of Hilbert's but of course if you're a fan of Hilbert uh, I guess that's one way to go, but I don't really recommend it if you're a F2P player just like me. I would still recommend you to go for Lyra, although Hubert is not within Lyra's gachas listing at all, as you just seen. So yeah, okay, so I won't be pulling uh, a scout <laughs> for this video, I suppose. Uh, I apologize because it is actually more interesting to do a 10 pool rather than single pools. Uh, I, I can see from the results from my Uta Macross videos. But okay, for <laughs> just to keep things lively, let's do a single pool of 300 gems for Hilbert. I, I, I would like to see how <laughs> interesting um, things will get just from a single pool. I don't know. Sometimes you might have luck with single pools, like it will give you that 4 star or 5 star uh, trainer. Like in Ultra Macross, you will have um, 5 star and 4 star episode plates, that kind of stuff. So it will be pretty interesting to see what kind of luck I will get from a single pool. So let's do this a single pool from Hilbert Scout. Um, of course, 
it will be awesome if I can get Lyra, probably Scout, <laughs> or basically anyone else that is a 5 star that I don't have. Yeah, I, I've got almost all of the 4 stars except uh, Throtten, uh Nolan, I don't have Wheel as well, uh, don't have Wickstorm, I don't have... Uh, Agatha, I don't have Marshall. Yes, uh, Siebold. I have no idea how you pronounce his name. Probably butchered it. <laughs> yeah. So out of all the four stars, I'm only lacking those few. So I don't know. Let's do this single pool and see how things goes. Slot our phone in. Let's look out for that shiny door on the Pokemon Center, uh, according to one of the commenters in the last video. So apparently it didn't glow as bright, so I guess... Oh! Oh, it's okay! <laughs> I'm, o I'm okay with getting more Lizas. She is an awesome support trainer. So powering up that Sing move, although I don't really use her as a Sing move, uh, I guess it's going to be useful, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so kind of disappointing, but not too bad. We did get a 3-star trainer. Uh, I suppose there are lower level, lower rarity trainers out there. 3 stars? Oh, okay, 3 stars are the lowest. Oh, man. <laughs> I just disappointed myself. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's pretty much my thoughts on Hilbert or Toya, whichever way you want to call him by. Um, Osha Ward is... A pretty okay um, support Pokemon but I would say Lyra's Chikorita is still the way to go so guys if you're planning to spend your gems on this scout you might want to reconsider uh, unless you are definitely a fan girl of Hilbert then I, I can't stop you I guess so <laughs> anyway guys um, think hard about it because it is still possible to get Hilbert in future scouts because as you can tell from um, Hilbert's scout lineup, Lyra from the previous scout is still there, Olivia is still there, and of course Blue is still there. Surprisingly enough, Blue's uh, scout is here for a very long duration of time. <laughs> I, I have no idea why, maybe because he is like a old school uh, first gen male protagonist uh, favoritisms, you know. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, hopefully, you found my insight on Hilbert and Osha Ward uh, useful. And of course, uh, if this video helped you decide to save your gems for future scouts, maybe the upcoming scouts for Red, I suppose. Red is definitely coming soon, kind of. I don't know, I, 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 I know he's coming but I don't know exactly when but definitely one of the trainers you definitely want to look out for because uh, if they have red with his Charizard, wow! <laughs> I would love to see Mega Charizard, uh, of course it's gonna probably gonna be a Y version, I don't think he'll be using the X version of Charizard so Let's see how things goes. Uh, I don't know how Dana wants to handle things with Pokemon Masters. It's still a very brand new game. So let's uh, travel through this journey of Pokemon Masters with Dana and, and see how things evolve with this franchise under their hands. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I always say thank you too much because I really, really appreciate you guys who follow me on this channel for all this content. Let, let me know by hitting the like button on this video as always and of course subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet. I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Master Scout video. Until then, bye!